Hey, this is Ben from Easy Sports Video. This is our first look at what might be the best soccer camera for your team. We're checking out the Pix for Team, the Pixelot, the VO, and the Trace camera. This backpack does not come with the robot. You can buy it separately. It's kind of expensive, but I would recommend ordering it because it's nice to have all of the things all in one place. So this is the unit itself. This is the eye, it has a cover over the eye, which is nice. On the back, you have the charging port, the Ethernet port, power button, light indicators, and you also have these plug into the camcorder. This is where you can put your SD card. So the camera comes separately. We purchased this one, one of the ones they recommended that works with the unit. You put it on top like so. To the it comes with a power cable that you can use to charge it. Um, you can purchase a battery separately. Unfortunately, our battery is not working, so we have not been able to use it at the field most uh, much. The only place we've been able to use it is where there was power. So these cables um, plug into these ports and then also into your camera. And there's an app that you use to start and stop the robot. The way that it connects is it has thread on the bottom and you thread it on to the top. I'm not a fan of the approach of spinning it on and off. It seems like an accident waiting to happen. The trace camera comes with two cases and it also comes with a tripod. We'll start with the tracers. So we don't have the uh, team plane, we only have the family plane, so we only have three tracers. It comes with these sleeves that you put around your calf. And then the tracer slides into the sleeve. It has an Ethernet port for connecting to the internet. It has a power port, USB. I'm not sure what those are for. I've never used those. You, before the game starts, you turn it on. The tracers light up. Um, you hand them out to the players. It has a QR code that you get during the setup. You have, there's a lot of setup involved with the trace. You have to scan this QR code. So this is the the case for the tracers. The camera comes with. These are the. Uh, power cords for both uh, the tracer case and for the camera. The camera has three lenses. On the back it has the power button, it has a place for you to plug it into the ethernet, it has a place, it has a charge, this is where you charge, again the QR code you have to scan during setup. So we're out here today trying out a few different cameras. And just turn this one on. Getting ready. Please wait. Beginning recording process. 380 minutes of recording time available. Right, I think now I put it up. Raise it up now, I think. Starting to record. Please raise tripod and position camera. Okay. One of the things I don't like about this camera is you have to you have to unscrew it. Like the other ones have a quick release plate. See, with this one, you kind of have to unscrew it, and the chances of you dropping it are higher because you're having to unscrew it. I might drop it while I'm doing this right now. Like for these ones here, it's just a quick release plate. So you just pull this back here and it pops right off. That's a better a better approach, I think. One nice thing is, is that the tripod comes in a carry bag. Um, it, that this tripod does not go up as high as some of like the VO 23 foot. It is nice because these are these are air cushions. So when you let, let it down, it doesn't just slam down. It's not as heavy. It's lighter than the Manfaro tripod. So you definitely have to sandbag it. You don't want your camera to blow over in the wind. So this is the case that the Pixelot comes in. It comes with charging cable. All of these different systems use different charging cables, using a cord, um, it comes with something for your tripod that I'll show you in a minute. And here is the camera itself. So it has the two lenses, some light indicator on the bottom. Here is the charging port, and then it has ethernet port and an on and off switch, and then actually a, sec a second on and off switch. It's heavier than the trace and the VO. The whole unit is a, a weighs more. The Pixelot comes with an angled quick release plate that you can attach to the top of your tripod with an adapter. As you can see here, the quick release plate holds the camera at about a 45 degree angle pointing at the field.
One difference with the Pixelot is that it uses two different apps. It uses Pixelot Control to start and stop the camera, and it uses Pixelot U to watch and clip the game. Then we'll take a look at the VO camera. The VO camera comes, comes in this case. It comes with a bag that has um, a quick release plate in it. I would recommend ordering the travel case for taking it to the field and back. A lot sturdier. So it comes with a charging cable USB-C. It comes with a quick release plate. And I forgot to show you that in the bottom of the Pixelot. The bottom of the Pixelot and the uh, VO have this so as you can plate. see here, there is a, a there's a front part of this quick release plate and then there's the lever in the back. So what you want is you want to put this lip of the plate that's connected to the camera, you want to put it underneath here. You put this lip under here and then what you're going to do is you're going to push down and you'll hear it snap. What you'll notice is if, if this pin is turned here and you try and pull, it's tight. So you can, if you do that, it unlocks that and then you can pull the lever and then you can lift it off. So now you can see the light is solid. So now you'll be able to use your app to connect to the camera. It has two lenses, has uh, microphones. They all have microphones. Um, on the back you have on and off power, USB-C port for charging and uploading, some light indicators for internet power. Um, on the bottom it does have the place where you can put in a SIM card for live streaming. We actually like to use the hotspot because it can support Wi-Fi uploading and live streaming. One thing we did order separately from Amazon is this tilt head. Um, the like the standard tripod it has a flat quick release plate, but the tilt head does allow you to, um, if you're like close to the field, it lets you snap it on here and get an angle. Um, we used that last weekend, so you can order one from VO when you order, or you can also get these ones on on Amazon. The VO camera is the only one that can live stream at the moment. You can connect with the SIM card or with a hotspot. And I'll show you here in a second. Once this is on and live, you'll see this light light up. So this is booted up and now you can see that the second light is on, which means now we have internet connection. We have a few games that we recorded with the Trace and the VO and the Pixelot. So we'll take a look at the footage of all three of those and see how they turned out. We have another game that we recorded with the Pixfer team and the Pixelot and the VO. Um, we weren't able to do all four at the same time because of the battery issue I mentioned with this one. Um, if you um, want to follow along with this, check us out on easysportsvideo.com slash YouTube. Hey everyone, look over here just for one second. I know that you don't like each other. I know you don't get along. Pretend like you're on the same team. Please look at the camera. Smile for the picture. Cheese!